Hey guys, so the self-proclaimed baby faker played mid Kane a few days ago in the LCS for Fnatic and it worked insanely well. They stomped the crap out of the game, but for a bunch of reasons that aren't really obvious. There's basically a few things that are pretty weird with mid Kane, especially like stuff that gives him a well unfair advantage, really, that honestly just shouldn't really work. So we're going to take a trip and we're going to see how Riot actually broke it for the mid lane. There are a few things that kind of break his kit though and stuff that Caps abused in the LCS. It all starts with Deathfire Touch. It's dealing damage against enemy champions that causes them to drop orbs and those orbs fill up our bar that lets us turn into our shadow assassin or rust riot designed this champion to be way more powerful after you transform so obviously we want that as fast as possible what lane kane does is he maxes w harasses over and over with that and gets their passive before 10 minutes into a game which is pretty busted without deathfire touch running further or thunder lords our w is one stack of our passive one orb that we absorb with deathfire touch our w is still one stack because a we applies four ticks of death fire touch and now that gives us five orbs instead of one i'm honestly not sure if this is a bug or intended but death fire touch damage ticks actually count as champion damage and each individual tick gives us an orb i'm not sure about you but i would rather have my form a crap ton quicker as well like five times as fast that is pretty game changing for a cane player getting their passive at like seven or eight minutes into a game instead of like 15 or 20 i guess if you're only running around the jungle and stacking it a little bit the second thing this breaks is how his ultimate actually works. So not the damage part, but how you start it. So this part, whenever Kane deals damage against an enemy champion, he applies Umbral Trespass for a few seconds. So Kane can then infest, which is a pretty grim way of putting it, but infest that champion and use his ult. Death by Touch counts as damage against the champion, as we said before, right? That means your time to ult an enemy is extended by an extra couple of seconds when you're fighting. I'll show you on screen what the difference actually looks like, but an auto attack to start with, with no death fire or anything like that, and then an ability that applies death by a touch. And it actually does make a pretty big difference. This makes playing against Kane way harder because you don't really know when he's going to ult. It lets you outplay more. You can ultimate way after the damage part. It's just a really weird interaction. Like it gets worse as well if you upgrade to Shadow Assassin as well. You gain 200 bonus range to casting your ultimate. You can even start to run away and then just swoop back. That is pretty annoying and I'm not sure it's supposed to work like that at all. Pretty buggy, but it's not really a game changer, right? It's mainly the passive stacking like five times faster than normal that really makes a massive difference. The last thing I want to talk about is isn't really 100% broken like game chaining but it's really strong if you go damage cane. Dustblade does actually work with his ultimate. You can swoop in, you can auto attack to apply your Dustblade, then you ultimate and you'll get your Dustblade proc again. So when you add that into his Shadow Assassin thing, it's pretty broken honestly. After you transformed, you get this thing where you deal up to 44% bonus damage for the first three seconds in combat, which also refreshes by using your ultimate. Number one, the wiki doesn't actually say, but I'm 99% sure that Dustblade is increased by that 44% damage as well. On screen shows the different damage tests that I did in training mode. So 50 difference between normal cane and shadow assassin without the dust blade mark. Then there's 130 difference with the dust blade proc afterwards. So remember this is against 100 armor as well. 80 carries mid laners will have about half that honestly. So it is a lot of damage. Number two, either way, you're going to have a dust blade proc and then this 44% bonus damage, right? Just from your abilities and auto attacks and stuff. Then you ultimate, which refreshes both of these. So you auto afterwards as well. And you've got another dust blade proc and 44% bonus damage for three seconds again. If you're smart, I think you can increase your damage either side of your ultimate by like 600 ish. So like 1200 damage together by abusing this. So that is actually then why Kane works and is pretty broken. It shouldn't really work that way, but apparently it does. Remember to throw the video a like if you made it this far, but thank you for watching. And for now, I'll leave you with the robots.